Okay, so this is our captain. Riley and I helped launch a leadership club at Lonsdale Elementary School. And um, when I first started out, just like thinking about what I even wanted to do for my capstone, I knew that I wanted it to involve kids in some way and just kind of help them. But more than that, I wanted to leave an impact whether I was working with kids or not. And then as for me, I also wanted to work with kids. But I also really was drawn towards the idea of doing something with art just because I've done art three out of my four years of high school and I just really love it. And so ideally I was wanting to do something like using my creativity to just reach out to the kids in need and form relationships with them. So since Riley and I both wanted to work with kids and both kind of had a hope of working in an inner city school, the idea of partnering up and doing our whole capstone together seemed like a really good idea. So we just started meeting up and brainstorming different ideas that we could do. And our first idea was a fashion show. So we thought about like having a clothing drive or just some sort of donation to where people donated old clothes so we could just throw like fashion show parties for little girls who are less fortunate than us and just like do their hair and makeup. And we, our whole goal for this was just for them to feel like pretty and loved. And then our second idea was to do birthday parties. We planned on doing birthday parties for those who don't necessarily get to be celebrated like we're used to. And so this, we were really excited about this one just because we like the idea of having kids just feel celebrated and loved. And however, none of these really worked out just because there was like money issues and just following through with these ideas just didn't work out. And we were also unsure if we'd even be fulfilling a need. And then how we got connected. So around the same time as Lizzie and I were brainstorming, my mom had just recently talked to Debbie Hill, who is a CAK parent and a member of our church. And they just got to talking about Lonzel, and Debbie was saying how there's always needs that need to be met there and how they can always use volunteers. And so with her being so involved in um, Lonsdale, she like set up an she set up a meeting with me, Lizzie, and Corey, who is like the coordinator of Lonsdale and like the she does all the resources. And so us four met and we talked about just different ideas. We told her about the, about the birthday parties. And then she brought brought up the idea of a leadership club and just like as she when she said that, me and Lizzie were like automatically excited and like we wanted to know more about it. And so yeah, we just were like really excited and confident about what our capstone was to be. Yeah, so um, after our meeting with Debbie and Corey, we just felt a lot more educated on what Lonsdale actually was and who made up the community. Um, so it's actually the highest poverty school in Knox County, and most of the kids are Guatemalan, and their parents only speak Spanish, and most of them are immigrants. So that was really interesting and like new for us just because the kids were translating for their parents and the school had to have lots of translators. And then 11% of the students are African um, and some of those are also immigrants as well. And then there's also just a deep history of racism and just physical poverty in general. And then the school itself is located right in the middle of a really diverse neighborhood, which is Lonsdale. So a few weeks after the meeting, we decided to go on a tour of the school just to get a feel for it and with how Lizzie was saying it was just like a extremely diverse neighborhood and we just wanted to get a better feel that way we would be less nervous going into it and so we toured the school and we then met our mentor Lindsay and we automatically like hit it off with her and we talked about what she had in mind for the leadership club and we just had a more specific idea of where our capstone was going, which we were just really excited about. Yeah, so as Riley said, our mentor is Lindsay Gilbert. She is a social work intern at the University of Tennessee, and she's a senior, so her last like senior project, she was placed at Lonsdale, and she's been there all year, and she designed this leadership club that's based off the seven tenets of leadership which are teamwork, communication, planning, becoming an example, problem solving, negotiating, and serving others. So we met with her a few different times and just kind of got to know each other better and started exchanging ideas. And then 
we found out we had a mutual connection through Young Life, which was really comforting to know at the time, just because we all kind of felt thrown into like the same boat and didn't really know what to expect from the school or the kids, and like we're all pretty nervous. And Lindsay had experience with Young Life, like with working with kids our age in high school, and does not plan on being an elementary school teacher, so she was especially nervous. And so it was just nice to know that we all had similar emotions going into it. As for our fears and struggles, our biggest fear was probably just the language barrier, because as Lizzie was saying earlier, it, the school is mostly Hispanic, and we were worried if we'd be like even be able to communicate with the kids. And um, so we started getting worried about that. And then also just the fact that we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to like form relationships with the kids. We didn't know if it'd be like a personable relationship with the kids or just, we weren't sure what to expect. And also being liked, we were, sh we were unsure if we'd be liked by the kids. Like we wanted the experience to be enjoyable for them, not to be something they like dreaded going to. And also we were concerned just about the community itself because of past stories we've heard and just different things we know about the community. We were just kind of nervous, which made it all the more important to do a partnership and ride to Lonsdale together. Okay, so the actual club that we participated in was a club of fourth and fifth graders. It consisted around 12 kids, give or take, just because not everyone can make every week. But every Wednesday after school, Riley and I would drive down there together. And um, the kids that were a part of the club were hand-selected by their teachers. So Lindsay like, sent out a note and said that we were looking for kids who already exhibited leadership skills or could benefit from having the opportunity to grow into a leader. And we just kind of wanted kids that were helpful and that could be challenged and like, listened well. And basically we just, um, each week we're teaching skills that they could ultimately take home to their homes and community. And our motto for the whole club was to empower and grow the skills of the children of Lonsdale. As for what we did, so each Wednesday we'd go in there and we'd start out with a game. And we started out with games such as the human knot, over the mountain, telephone, and just any game that incorporated the like team building skills. And also each game incorporated the one of the seven tenets of leadership. And after the game, we would explain in better detail like what the tenant was and how they used it and how they saw it. And just throughout like each club, we saw a change in the kids just because like we could see them they're being developed and they're more outgoing with each other. And with the class being like majority Hispanic and then like a few blacks, there it was just like in the beginning, it was a little segregated. We'd walk in and it'd be like Hispanics kids on one side and like the black kids on the other. And they weren't really like communicating with each other. And so throughout the clubs, we just saw them like eventually like coming together and learning to be a part of a community and communicating with each other. Yeah, like at first it was just really like diverse and segregated. It's like we would play games, like the human knot, you grab each other's hands and you're tangled and the whole goal is to untangle yourselves, but they were being weird about touching each other's hands. Like they wanted their sweatshirt sleeves to cover their hands before they touched each other's hands. And it just was, it was really interesting to see that that went on, but like as the year went on, we saw that yeah. that changed a lot. But um, yeah, so as I was explaining what we did, so we had two main service projects for the club and our main one was the bathroom renovation um, so each week we were doing something that just led up to renovating the bathrooms and so our club, the Lonsdale Leaders, saw a need for the bathrooms to be changed and they made up a proposal of what they wanted to specifically be changed and so each week we would research because they had a budget of certain supplies that they could purchase. So they had a budget for certain supplies and then we made posters and came up with different themes for the girls' bathrooms versus the boys' bathrooms, and they eventually had to present their proposal of change to the janitors and some of the teachers to get that approved. Um, so then our second service project was called Monsters Made with Love, and all the students learned how to sew, which was really exciting for them, and they sewed their own little monsters and then eventually delivered them to the elderly at the local nursing home. 
And then here's a clip of just like inside on what the club was and just the different projects each of the kids participated in.
Okay, so... There's that. Okay. So, although we had a really good overall experience with the kids and, like, really enjoyed watching them grow, there were a lot of setbacks and just stuff that really caused a lot of frustration and stress for me and Riley just because with the school came a lot of behavioral issues that we weren't really expecting and didn't really know how to deal with at first. So there were a few clubs where teachers had to come in and kind of just reiterate to the kids like why they were chosen for the club, like what Lonzo leaders are supposed to look like. And so that just took a lot of time away from our actual bathroom renovation and ended up pushing back our project even more. So a few things like that happened here and there, and it was just really hard sometimes since there was just like a lot that was out of our control. Yeah, and also just with the sick days, the snow days, and the behavioral issues, as Lizzie was saying, it just, yeah, like she said, it caused a lot of setback just in the club, and not only just the club, but our capstone itself. Like we had to move the presentation dates, and we were just anxious to get it over with, so it just was a little frustrating for us. However, just through all the frustrations, it just emphasized the fact that not everything's perfect, things happen out of the ordinary, and just things happen that we can't control. Therefore, we just had to keep remembering why we were there and that we were there for a reason. And as far as carrying this on, we aren't really sure if the club will even exist next year, just because Lindsay's graduating, and so are we. But we will both be at UT next year, and continuing to volunteer down at Lonsdale is definitely like a possibility that we've talked about. And then if anyone's ever in need of a capstone idea, we'll definitely direct people towards the Lonsdale community just because there really is always something or someone to help out with there.